Hi there Fabric Jugglers, it's Babs here from My Fiery Phoenix with today's vlog on um, the ever expanding collection of miniature shawls from the um, Five Shawls in Five Days um, challenge and as you can see there's shawls in the background, I, I make shawls all the time, I love knitting shawls, They're, I find it really relaxing um, but I have learnt so much from this challenge. We started off with the triangle shawls, we've moved on to the crescent shawls and now we're working on asymmetric shawls for day three. So I will show you what I have sitting blocking at the moment and I'll also show you with Sophie's, um, with Sophie's help, if I can just show you Sophie, where are you? Hello Sophie, hello. <laughs> So here I have the um, the shawl pre-blocking. This is the asymmetric shawl from uh, day three. And what I'm going to need to do now is, um, according to the technical terms apparently, block the crap out of it to, uh, to make it nice and straight. So hopefully that's gonna work. Having drenched it has already made a difference. So, uh, so now I just need to pin and get on with it. So here it is. It's been pinned ridiculously heavily in the corners. I've got at least two pins in each corner, each of the three corners. And um, rather than the larger spacing I normally have, there's a hell of a lot of pins in here. So this is now absolutely drenched and we will leave it in the conservatory to, uh, to dry out. And hopefully it will have some nice structure afterwards. So here I have a collection of the shawls that I created. Uh, we've got the three, um, the three triangle shawls, this was the, the basic starter that we have the pattern for with the, the lovely open weave across the top and down the spine. And then this was the experimental one using a front back increase rather than the yarn over increase. And I quite like the pattern down there. Sophie's still shouting in the back garden. Um, and then this was the winged triangle shawl where you have again the open weave for the spine and um, an open weave on the increases, but we're doubling up on increases on both sides. So that's wrong side and right side get an increase, which gives us this curved effect. So that's the three triangle shawls. I have over here, because I'm blocking the other one, two versions of the crescent shawl. Um, the, this was day two, and when I made the first one, I, I got myself in a right old pickle and couldn't understand how to do the pearl um, yarn over and so this was sort of a, a mishmash of knitting when I should be purling and not and so I, I've got um, a rather rough edge that doesn't look quite as neat and tidy as it should whereas on the updated version um, which I managed to complete after finishing this which is the um, asymmetric um, shawl for this one I actually nailed the yarn over with the purl and so I then went back and redid um, the the crescent shawl with the the yarn over which has a much neater edge along here it doesn't look anywhere near as bitty and bitey as uh, as the one that uh, that i did previously so if you if you look at that edge it's it's really quite messy um in in here whereas on this version this edge is actually quite 